believing and thinking. We're in a day and age where everybody's telling you what they believe. I want you to understand the language. Notice when you even ask somebody, what do you believe? Notice how they stand. When you ask somebody, what do they believe? They anchor in, they make a stance. This is interesting because if I ask you what you believe, you can't move. Your ego won't let you change your belief. And once we even say what you believe, you're cornered. It's a pressure that you put upon yourself and you don't even realize it. And then when somebody shows you a different idea or something else to believe, and you might want to even start to think about that for a moment, your belief won't let you. So I need you to understand that you can believe, but that's not even true. Nobody believes anything. We all think. Now, if I ask you, what do you think about something? You'll notice that the person stands very soft and pliable, meaning that their thoughts can change. This is interesting. Do you believe what you think or do you just think about it? Some people believe what they think and don't allow their thoughts to move any farther past that. Is that who you want to be? Do you want to be a person who believes and anchors in and doesn't have room for any movement? Or do you want to be able to change thought for moment for moment? You may have a thought from the past that is different from the same thought brought to the present to the same thought brought to the future. They're all the same thought, but they are able to be thought differently. But if you believe it's just one of these, you see the difference. Understand that your language alone starts to limit your quality and expression of life. So I ask you to be a thinker, not a believer.